My name is Justina Glusman. I am in charge of sustainable development uh, in the city of uh, Warsaw. How to actually protect our trees, how to um, approach them, which are which which value have trees for the city. And uh, we have come to the conclusion in the beginning of my uh, uh, career in the in the office that in order to protect in an effective way uh, greenery in the city, we need to treat trees as a value, as an asset rather than a cost. And that's the starting point, as um, otherwise we will not be able to protect trees in an uh, effective way. So if we start thinking of something as an asset, then we have to ask the question of how much, uh, how much value does this uh, asset present as assets um, basically earn money. Uh, so in order to calculate that value, uh, we had to take the evidence-based approach. We had to actually take an approach which would allow us to, to calculate this very value of an asset. But then again, it's not a question of uh, money. Uh, we do see trees as uh, the most important part of the ecosystem of uh, any city and uh, as a part of nature, which we are also a part of and which we depend on and uh, which we have to protect uh, in order to protect ourselves. So we have to protect our city nature, not just because it presents a value for us, but it's because the, it's the vital element of the ecosystem we are also an element of. So we have started to think of trees and greenery as a system. We have uh, taken this um, evidence-based approach, um, which, which means that we need to calculate of uh, uh, what we have in this asset, green asset portfolio, and uh, what is the condition of this portfolio in order to manage it. So tree rights chapter is a kind of manifesto which basically says that trees are subjects and not objects of our actions. Tree canopy, canopy map is a project that I will um, present in more detail later. Inventory of greenery is another element which is um, necessary to, um, well, to, to estimate the portfolio and, um, and, and, and to know which is the condition of our trees. Public information service, another element of the system, risk assessment methodology, which we develop, developed um, as, a, as a specific Warsaw approach and valuation of ecosystem services as the next step in our way to manage trees. So we have actually uh, defined in the tree manifesto that trees have a right to live, they have a right, right to space, they have a right to conditions allowing for proper growth, to live in groups and exist as a complex whole ecosystem. For the moment, this is an informal paper, but we do hope that at some point the City Council of Warsaw will adopt this approach as a formal stand of the Council. And we just wanted to change the way of thinking of also our employees about um, trees. We have um, commissioned a study of the whole city uh, to create the maps of greenery. The remote sensoring starts from airborne laser scanning and uh, we get from these the hyperspectral image, images and multispectral images, but then the sample trees, the reference trees are being examined in the um, on the ground by experts and specialists and they verify the quality uh, of the system and accuracy of the system. And the accuracy of the system exceeds 80%. So th that's uh, very high. 
So what we found out in the map, from the map, from this project, was that we have more than 7 million trees. We know that we have 9 million, but more than 7 million were identified in the map because around 2 million are under larger trees. We know which is the coverage of the tree canopy of the city, which is about 32% of city territory. We know that greenery is extremely important for the health, psychological and physical health of citizens. And the studies present, research uh, presents that uh, when the uh, tree canopy coverage is lower than 30%, it also has a negative impact on people's health. So it's not equally distributed. Um, in the whole city of Warsaw, but we see which areas do have enough trees and which areas we should focus on when planning the new tree plantings. We do also have a knowledge about the highest tree, uh, which has uh, 44 meters, and which are the common, most common trees in Warsaw. Surprisingly, it's fine. Um, that's because we have more than 15% of the city covered by city forest and oak is the second one. And another um, element of this uh, system is a special app for our gardeners and the app allows them to locate the trees and makes it easy to uh, conduct inventory of trees. Another very important element of this uh, system is the information for the citizens about trees that have to be removed uh, due to the health conditions. And uh, we have a map on the city map service where everyone can access the, um, the area and can see the um, trees marked here as uh, red are the trees which are supposed to be cut due to the health condition. We can unpack the documents, we can unpack an application uh, for uh, cutting of this tree together with the description of the situation. There's usually a visit of specialists of, or, or a few specialists, there's some expertise, and then there are arguments for or against cutting and then if the permission has been issued, then the paper will be here. So the citizen can actually locate a tree in his or her area of living, for instance, where it's particularly of, uh, of, of his uh, or her interest and see without calling an office of what's going on with the with the tree. The question marks here are the trees which are still waiting for the decision when the application for cutting was filed. However, there was no decision. And the green trees are the new uh, trees that has been plant that have been planted since 2018, uh, instead of those who were cut or just um, as a as a part of the million trees of Warsaw, for Warsaw program that we are uh, conducting. The Warsaw Institute for Life Sciences in a common project, the, in a common project, the um, experts from this institution have actually calculated using their own methodology and also the uh, the computer methods they have they have calculated how much of the uh, harmful substances the trees have um, removed from the air that we breathe and uh, how much oxygen they have produced worth mentioning in this point that there is more than 3000 citizens dying prematurely in Warsaw due to the poor air quality. Uh, so th this is another argument um, why trees are so important. So we have calculated how much of these um, harmful substances have been removed, how much oxygen, oxygen has been produced, and which kind of value does this produce the, for the citizens. This sample of more than 1,000 trees in Warsaw has produced value of more than 25,000 um, uh, zlotys 
and for the um, for the whole Warsaw, when we um, assume it's around nine thousand nine million trees uh, in the whole city, we can see that annually they produce value of more than 170 million zlotys, uh, which is a good and concrete knowledge we can disseminate, we can present our citizens to everyone that is um, discussing or, or thinking of what is better to cut the tree or to change, for instance, uh, a project or design of some project uh, in order to protect the tree, we can see what we lose with each tree that we actually remove from uh, our area. And then the challenges. So we have the system, we have the last element of the system in the stage of uh, implementation. Uh, however, we do have as a city a lot of challenges to, to, to be addressed still. First of all, very important is the question of space and not enough space for planting trees, in particular, particularly uh, along the roads. Uh, also, how, how to calculate the um, value of trees and how to protect trees in the private lands where as a city we do not have power to make decisions. Uh, underground infrastructure, which is um, obviously everywhere in the city, is another question. And the ongoing discussion between scientists and engineers, whether we can plant the trees on the infrastructure or not. So if the electrical network is uh, one meter underground, whether trees can be planted uh, over it. Um, biologists are for the network companies, not necessarily. And of course, it's still a lot to be done in terms of education, in terms of change of minds, in terms of um, dissemination of knowledge of how trees are important. And it's about uh, convincing not only citizens, but art, but architects, designers, uh, engineers mentioned, and also city officials, that the decision to cut the tree should always be um, well um, fought over and uh, should have very strong arguments behind it as uh, the trees produce true value and this true value can be measured. Well, I believe so. This is scalable project. We actually also, um, we are looking for possibilities to um, receive financing from um, some external sources to develop this valuation of this project as we have done on the sample and we would like to make it for all over Warsaw. And we believe this project is exportable. Uh, in terms of tree map, number of cities have done um, this kind of tree maps, although perhaps not for the whole cities. They have used different system. London has a tree map, New York has a tree map. Um, so that is the basic data that you need for the um, valuation of ecosystem services. And I believe that project is extremely important because it shows in numbers, you know, which, which is the benefit from trees. And it's very easy to translate to the citizens and convince them that, that this is the same value as a value of great infrastructure of architecture and so on. Yeah. And unless we start thinking of trees in that kind of way, we will not be able to protect them.